Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into an incredible breakthrough that could change the world of construction and beyond. It's called Superwood, a revolutionary material that's stronger than steel, lighter, and eco-friendly, developed by a company called InventWood. Buckle up, because this is mind-blowing. Let's break it down. Steel has long been essential for modern construction but producing one ton releases nearly two tons of carbonic, posing a significant environmental burden. Additionally, its weight, complexity, and high cost often challenge smaller contractors and projects. Superwood emerges as a promising alternative, potentially surpassing steel's performance, reducing long-term costs, and benefiting the environment. Superwood is a super-strong, lightweight material made from regular wood, yes, wood you'd find at Home Depot. Invented at the University of Maryland by Dr. Liang Bing Hu. It's 50% stronger than steel in tensile strength and has a 10 times better strength-to-weight ratio. It's also tough fire-resistant, and get this locks away carbon, making it a carbonic negative material. Imagine a building material that's not just sustainable, but actively fights climate change. This journey started in 2016, when Dr. Hu was experimenting with transparent wood as a glass alternative. By 2017, he'd transformed that research into superwood, a material so strong it rivals titanium alloys. A 2018 Nature paper blew the lid off this discovery. And now, after years of refinement, Inventwood is set to mass-produce it starting this summer in Frederick, Maryland. We've spent years perfecting a process to keep superwood's lab-proven strength while making it commercially viable, says Alex Lau, co-founder and executive chairman of Inventwood. And they've done its streamlining production from weeks to just hours. So, how do you turn ordinary wood into something stronger than steel? It's a two-step process that's both scientific and surprisingly simple. Chemical treatment and hot compression. Chemical treatment. They start with wood any kind, like poplar or pine, and soak it in a food grade solution of sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfide, similar to what's used in paper making. This softens lignin the natural glue in wood, 15 to 30 percent of its makeup, and remove some hemicellulose, 20 to 30 percent, while keeping the cellulose fibers, 40 to 50 percent, intact. Cellulose is the backbone of wood's strength, and this step maximizes bonding between those fibers. Hot compression. The treated wood is pressed at 150 degrees Fahrenheit under intense pressure, collapsing its cellular structure into a dense matrix. This shrinks the wood to one-fifth its original thickness one-inch board becomes 0 0.2 inches, but makes it 12 times stronger and 10 times tougher. The lignin resolidifies, acting like superglue to lock the cellulose fibers together creating millions of new molecular bonds. The result? A dark, polished material that looks like premium hardwood but performs like a superhero. It's not just wood anymore. It's superwood. Why superwood is a game changer. Here's why superwood is stealing the spotlight.
unmatched strength. It's 50% stronger than steel, with a tensile strength of up to 600 megapascals along the grain. It's been tested to stop bullets untreated wood gets pierced, but superwood stops projectiles halfway through. Super lightweight. At 80% lighter than steel, it's perfect for reducing weight in buildings, cars, or even airplanes. Eco-friendly. Made from sustainably sourced wood, FSC or SFI certified. It stores carbon, unlike steel, which emits tons of CO2. It's a net negative carbon footprint. Fire resistant. Superwood has a class A fire rating, meaning it chars and self extinguishes without chemical flame retardants. Thanks to its dense structure, it starves flames of oxygen. Durable. Its tight cellulose matrix resists moisture, termites, and fungi no rock or decay here. Easy to work with. Contractors can cut, drill, and fasten it with standard woodworking tools, though its density might need slight technique tweaks. Gorgeous aesthetics. The compressed fibers enhance the wood's natural grain, giving it a luxurious, tropical hardwood look. Applications beyond construction. Invent Wood is starting with construction, producing 1 million square feet of superwood annually for interior finishes in commercial and high end residential projects. By fall 2025, they'll roll out exterior panels for siding and roofing. With structural beams and columns planned within a few years, pending certification, their goal? A massive facility producing 30 million square feet annually for large-scale infrastructure. But that's just the beginning. Superwood's moldability makes it a contender for automotive, lightweight car bodies or parts, replacing costly carbon fiber. Aerospace, ultralight honeycomb structures stronger than aluminum for aircraft. Furniture. Durable, beautiful pieces with a premium wood finish. Specialty uses. Think door cores, acoustic panels for concert halls, or even disaster relief shelters made from superwood tubes stronger than paper-based alternatives. Let's explore the plywood making process. Wood selection and preparation. High quality logs, usually softwoods such as pine or hardwoods such as birch, are selected. The logs are debarked and cut into uniform lengths in preparation for debarking. Veneer production. The logs are soaked or steamed to soften the wood, making it easier to debark. A lathe peels the logs into thin, continuous sheets by rotating them on a blade, with an optimized charger ensuring maximum productivity. The strips of veneer are cut to remove defects and cut into usable sheets. The sheets are graded according to moisture content and dried in an oven-like dryer to achieve a moisture content of 8% or less. The dried sheets are graded and stacked into units, tied and stored dry. The panels are sent to plywood mills where they are layered in alternating grain directions, usually perpendicular to increase strength and stability. This cross-laminating is key to the strength of plywood.
A binder, such as phenol formaldehyde or urea formaldehyde, is applied between the layers. Multiple layers are pressed under high temperature and pressure in a hydraulic press, which causes the glue to harden and bond the panels into a solid board. The plywood is trimmed, sanded, and cut to standard sizes, for example, 4 by 8 feet. Can be graded based on quality, for example, appearance or structural use, and prepared for specific applications, such as sheathing or lining. Finished plywood is shipped to customers for use in construction, for example, sheathing for houses, furniture, or other applications. So, what do you think? Could Superwood replace steel in your next project? What other uses can you imagine? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get the conversation going. If you love this deep dive, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more cutting-edge tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.